Hey everyone, here's a dreadful joke to start. How do you blow up an Italian? Answer, rigatoni. Anyway, this week it was Lebanon that saw a huge explosion after a blast ripped through the heart of Beirut. I've probably not seen that massive a bomb on TV since Joey, the Friends spin-off. Perhaps Baywatch Nights would have been a better reference. That was set down by the docks, after all. Nonetheless, it turns out that the cause of this explosion was 2,700 tonnes of ammonium nitrate being illegally stored in a waiting cell to either a fireworks company or potentially an agricultural supplier. Indeed, it's likely one of the few explosions in that part of the world. It wasn't anything to do with terrorism. There's the old expression in the West, you're the bomb. It's a compliment, but in the Middle East it's a job offer. Anyway, here we are though, and there's not really much to say or joke about, frankly. Hundreds killed, thousands injured. I saw an article making a comparison to Chernobyl and how that event in the Soviet Union, like the Beirut explosion, was inevitable and simply the culmination of the endemic corruption and political negligence built into the system. Certainly Lebanon has had a pretty rough economic time of late, and that was before Corona hit. If the ammonium nitrate was destined to go into fireworks, and I frankly fail to see what they were preparing to celebrate. What is evident is that the blast also triggered an explosion of political rage or with protesters taking to the street, ironically copying something from France, the country's former colonial power. The famously fromage-loving French were probably confused and presumed a cheese factory had been damaged in the blast when they heard that there was debris everywhere. Ah, cheese puns. I thought that was a good one. Here's a good joke to finish on. What cheese is made backwards? Edam. Think about it. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.